we've all been inappropriately touched in Hollywood. Period. It's just, that's what it is. We've all, at some point or another, been inappropriately touched. I knew some things about some people, and I, I, I knew some bodies were buried, and I wasn't going to speak on it. And all I was saying is we've all, if you're in this business, we've all, at some point, been inappropriately touched. Actor Darius McCrary, most known for his role as Eddie Winslow on the 90s sitcom Family Matters, says he was inappropriately touched as a young man by an unnamed Hollywood executive. And now, he is warning young black actors to stay woke. Though McCrary didn't elaborate on the allegation further while speaking with one of TMZ's Lemmings in Beverly Hills, he did express his thoughts on the recent S. Ewell assault claim against friend Charlie Sheen. All I can say is Charlie is one of the most magnificent and kind people that God ever created, and I can't see Charlie Sheen doing anything inappropriate," McCrary said outside the Montage Hotel when asked about recent claims that Sheen, at age 19, had S. Ewellly assaulted the late Corey Haim when he was 13. Haim's mother has since rebuked the allegations, saying in an interview that her son was abused by someone else, not Sheen. People who are thirsty are always looking for a good drink, and from what I know, Charlie Sheen will quench your thirst, McCrary said of the allegations. Drink that, McCrary continued with the thirsty line of thought, adding that he wouldn't be worried about the allegations. But I will say this though, McCrary said, I was inappropriately touched by a Hollywood executive and I'm not gonna tell on nobody. This happened when I was a young man. Asked to elaborate, McCrary declined. I'm not thirsty, he said, so I ain't gotta tell my business. From 1989 until 1998, Darius McCrary brought the much-beloved Eddie Winslow to life during all nine seasons of Family Matters. Over that time, McCrary proved time and time again that he was a talented enough actor to make fans care deeply about his character. After all, just like other sitcoms that tackle serious issues, Family Matters often had important things to say, and McCrary played an important role in that. For example, when Eddie was mistreated by the police solely due to his race, McCrary did a marvelous job portraying the outrage his character felt at that moment. On the other hand, when Family Matters was meant to be goofy fun, McCrary proved he could be hilarious too. Despite how great Darius McCrary was in Family Matters, he has never been able to enjoy that kind of success with another sitcom role. Perhaps the reason for that is producers don't want to work with McCrary since he has been accused of some serious crimes that are no laughing matter. In fact, some of the things that McCrary's ex-wife alleges he has done are so dark that they could inspire a very special episode of their own. But the actor believes someone powerful is behind his Hollywood woes. From 2014 until 2017, McCrary was married to a woman named Tammy Bronner, and the couple had a daughter named Zoe together. Before the couple's divorce was finalized, however, Bronner was granted a restraining order against McCrary after claiming that the actor abused her and their daughter who was only one year old at the time. Of course, it is extremely upsetting when anyone is abused. Still, it is especially disturbing to hear that McCrary allegedly was abusive towards his one-year-old daughter, and things only get worse from there. After all, the actor's ex-wife Tammy Bronner claims that he held the baby girl over a boiling pot of water, saying he wished he never had her. On top of that, Bronner accused McCrary of frequently slapping their daughter and sometimes even strapping her arms during meals. According to the paperwork that Tammy Bronner filed in court, she requested a restraining order against McCrary following another incident. On February 10th, she said McCrary began hurling picture frames and other objects around the house, coming dangerously close to hitting the baby. She also accused him of hitting her in the head with his forearm. For his part, the actor denied the detailed abuse accusations against him through a statement his lawyer released to E! News. Tammy Bronner is no victim. She is a predator motivated by a desperate desire to extort money out of Mr. McCrary while trying to create an advantage in an impending divorce and custody battle. Mr. McCrary is a loving, devoted, and dedicated father. Her allegations are such obvious and outlandish lies. We are all dumber for having read them. Having floundered after being fired by the Globetrotters, she apparently will say anything for a bit of media attention and a glimpse of the spotlight. Some of McCrary's fans believe the abuse the child actor received from Hollywood execs back in the day may have a ripple effect on his everyday life today. And seemingly, he is not alone in this godforsaken ship. It's not always easy to speak up about SUL assault. Not only does talking about being assaulted bring the whole experience back to the present for victims, but there's also the fact that shame can be attached to the incident, even though being assaulted is not the victim's fault under any circumstances.
But when a celebrity talks openly about being assaulted, it can help heal the wounds of others who have gone through similar incidents. Assault can happen to anyone, and it doesn't matter if you're famous or not. It's gut-wrenching and life-changing, no matter who you are. Celebs who step up, however, put faces and names to SUL assault, which opens up the conversation. Here is the dark truth. Being famous isn't all rainbows and butterflies. Lady Gaga, Gabrielle Union, James Van Der Beek, Margaret Cho, and more celebs are using their past traumas to help others. And now, Darius has joined the crew, warning up-and-coming rappers to look out for each other. Morning Show star Belle Powley opened up to The Independent about how she was inappropriately touched by a senior crew member of production when she was on set in her early 20s. I've had someone grab my A and basically touch me inappropriately before, Powley told the outlet. I was too scared to say anything. I was too scared to rock the boat. I just avoided that person and it was fine. But what really has changed post Me Too is you just know that you're protected, she continued. At the beginning of Me Too it was weird. For a while it was like, I feel protected because men are just f***ing scared, which was fine too, but now everything's settled into itself. People have learned and it's like there's a new code of conduct. Bellicide actor Matthew Lawrence recently opened up about a traumatic experience involving a prominent Oscar award-winning director. There have been many times in my life where I've been propositioned to get a huge role. I've lost my agency because I went to the hotel room, which I can't believe they would send me to, of a very prominent Oscar award-winning director who showed up in his robe, asked me to take my clothes off and said he needed to take Polaroids of me. And then if I did X, Y, and Z, I would be the next Marvel character. I didn't do that, and my agency fired me because I left this director's room, Lawrence remembered. Next in line is Brooke Shields. Brooke Shields opened up about her horrific experience in the documentary Pretty Baby, which premiered on Hulu in April this past year. At the time her S. Ewell assault happened, she was struggling to find acting roles after graduating from Princeton in 1987 and was excited to take a dinner with a Hollywood executive about a potential job. I thought it was a work meeting. I had met this person before and he was always nice to me. His behavior began to change during the meal and he wasn't discussing the film. He insisted on calling her a cab back to his hotel room. From there, he attacked her. It was like wrestling, Shields said, crying as she recalled the assault. I was afraid I would get choked out or something, I didn't know. I played the scene out in my head so I didn't fight that much. I just absolutely froze. I just thought, stay alive and get out. The actress recently spoke to people about finally opening up about what happened. Everybody processes their own trauma on a different timeline, she said. I want to be an advocate for women to be able to speak their truth. Hunger Games actress Gina Malone is another celebrity who recently opened up on Instagram about being s assaulted while she filmed the hit four-part movie franchise. This photo was taken right after I wrapped Mocking Jay Part 2 and I had to say goodbye to everyone on set, she wrote in the caption, alongside a picture of her in a field. We were shooting in a beautiful estate in the countryside of France and I asked the driver to let me out in this field so I could cry and capture this moment. Even though this time in Paris was extremely hard for me, me, I was going through a bad breakup and also was duly assaulted by someone I had worked with. I was so full of gratitude for this project, the people I became close with, and this amazing part I got to play. A swirling mix of emotions I'm only now just learning to sort through. She continued, I wish it wasn't tied to such a traumatic event for me, but that is the real wildness of life, I guess. How to hold the chaos with beauty. I've worked very hard to heal and learn. Through restorative justice, how to make peace with the person who violated me and make peace with myself. It's been hard to talk about the Hunger Games and Johanna Mason without feeling the sharpness of this moment in time, but I'm ready to move through it and reclaim the joy and accomplishment I felt. She concluded sending a message of hope for other victims. Lots of love to you survivors out there, she wrote. The process is so slow and non-linear. I want to say I'm here for anyone who needs to talk or vent or open uncommunicated spaces within themselves. Please DM me if you need a safe space to be heard. What a necessary and heartwarming gesture from the star. And well, that's not all. Model and actress Paris Hilton recently revealed to Glamour UK that she was drugged and are at only 15 years old by a man she met at an LA mall. One day, they invited us to their house and were drinking these berry wine coolers. I didn't drink or anything back then, but then when I had maybe one or two sips, I just immediately started feeling dizzy and woozy. I don't know what he put in there, I'm assuming it was a roofie, she said. I remembered it. I have visions of him on top of me, covering my mouth, being like, you're dreaming, you're dreaming, and whispering that in my ear. 
She also discussed more terrifying encounters, one with a high school teacher where he tried to manipulate her and a run-in with convicted Hollywood gatekeeper Harvey Weinstein. And even big muscles don't scare these abusers. In October 2017, Brooklyn Nine-Nine actor Terry Crews said a Hollywood executive groped him at an industry party in February 2016. He revealed all his tweets. This whole thing with Harvey Weinstein is giving me PTSD. Why? Because this kind of thing happened to me. My wife and I were at a Hollywood function last year, and a high-level Hollywood executive came over to me and grouped my privates. Jumping back, I said, what are you doing? My wife saw everything, and we looked at him like he was crazy. He just grinned like a jerk. I was going to kick his A right then, but I thought twice about how the whole thing would appear. 240 pounds, black man stomps out Hollywood honcho would be the headline the next day. Hopefully me coming forward with my story will deter a predator and encourage someone who feels hopeless. Cruz filed a police report as a crime victim a month later and then filed a lawsuit against Adam Bennett, the reported abuser, alleging assault, S. Ewell battery, emotional distress, and negligence. However, the case was rejected. A representative for the Los Angeles City Attorney told ABC News that the matter was rejected because it was beyond the statute of limitations. So, well, it seems Darius McCrary knew why he withheld the name of his abuser to himself. He probably knows that as a black actor, nothing really will come out of it. Darius's courage to speak up has got many fans wanting to hear more from him, with one posting, Shannon Sharp, when are you having Darius McCrary on Club Shay Shay? Do you think this guy knows more than what he has already revealed? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today until next time. Thank you for watching.